Peace and blessings, everyone. It's your boy, James Anthony. And as we move together, we define the concept of limitless. I want everyone to pay attention because right now we're going to embark together on a journey into the world of digital asset transactions on the Stellar Network. I decided um, working with the White Hat Army, we are going to put together an example for you so that you can kind of walk through the steps and see exactly what we're talking about. Over the past two years, a meticulously orchestrated operation has been silently operating under our noses. This isn't a simple case of financial wheeling and dealing. No, no, this is a grand spectacle of strategic but cunning and manipulative behavior. Today, we're going to unravel this enigma and expose the puppet masters and show you the patterns that reveal themselves over and over again. Let's start by locating the issuer address. This is the starting point of our journey. You can easily find the address in one of the QSI advertisements or whiplash advertisements or perhaps on the Stellar or Lobster page, I should say. Once you have the issuer address, it's time to do some detective work. Head over to the Stellar.expert and type in the issuer address in the search bar. This will lead you to a new page dedicated to the asset. But wait, hold on a second. Don't get distracted. We're interested in the issuer address page, not the asset page. So make sure you're on the right page. Now, pay close attention to the details of the issuer address page. Especially take note of who created the address and when. This information is crucial, not just for the issuer, but also the distributor. In our current scenario, both the issuer and distributor are Binance. That's P-A-N-D and M-P-J-F, which are the last four of the address. And that's how we reference most addresses, by the last four characters of the address. But don't be surprised if you find addresses that are linked to other shady projects. It's all part of their game. As you scroll down, you'll find the last page shows the earliest actions. It's like reading a book from back to front. The issuer creates an account, mints a token, and then assigns it to their account. Then usually they transfer the whole lot to a distributor who manages the sell orders. Sometimes they might distribute to multiple addresses, but there's usually one top whale that gets the lion's share. Let's dig a little deeper. Click on 4RCQ and examine the details. Check who created it and when. Also take a look at all the assets ever held there. You might see names like Line, Line G, or line PL. Now this is where it gets interesting. You'll notice that these accounts have almost no balance. It's quite unusual, isn't it? So we investigated further and discovered that line G and line PL were completely swapped for XLM. It seems like they decided to call it quits once the hype train left the station. But what about line? Well, someone placed a low sell order, and guess who it was? Whiplash, H-U-J-T, swooped in and bought it right up, taking over the reins as the new top whale. If you pay close attention, you'll spot large quantities of XLM being transferred to several dump accounts. These funds are then split up among other members, and a good chunk is shipped off to other exchanges. It's like a carefully orchestrated operation. (laughs) Oh, and by the way, WIPS T3DN also got a piece of the pie. Take a look at the dump account labeled DB4A with the memo 10130449.2. You'll see an array of transfers all leading to a single Binance wallet. This operation has been in motion for quite some time. Both the payment locator page 
and dump accounts are like a maze filled with various rabbit holes. If you have the time and patience, you can trace back the money to the accounts that moved it and uncover what other projects they were involved in. But be warned, you might find stuff that could be a little disturbing. Listen, it's easy to get lost in the lab, this labyrinth of transactions. But we take everything with a grain of salt and have patience with ourselves as we're doing it. Now that we've walked through this intricately woven tapestry of digital transactions, it's clear that we're dealing with a phenomenon that's as fascinating as it is daunting. But rest assured, this is only just the beginning, y'all. Moving forward, we'll dig deeper, tracing this operation back to its roots, exploring its current state, and eventually connecting all the dots in between. To those behind this operation, this message is for you. You may think that you're invincible behind your little veil of anonymity. But remember, nothing stays hidden forever. No matter how much wealth you amass, remember you cannot take it with you. It does not accompany you beyond this life. You will face judgment, and perhaps not by us, but more importantly, by the only one who truly matters. We encourage you to seek repentance for it is never too late to turn around. And for everyone else, let this be a reminder of the spiritual warfare we're engaged in. It's imperative that we equip ourselves with the armor of God to stand strong in the face of adversity. Despite the attempts to silence us, our voices are growing louder each day. Thank you for joining us on this riveting journey. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and remember, truth always prevails. Peace and blessings, y'all. We'll see you on the next one.